The name was released. Uh, he's in, named as a potential possible suspect in uh, this uh, blast by the Kyrgyz intelligence services. Uh, Russian media have unconfirmed reports uh, citing a source close to investigation um, to police uh, saying that uh, uh, this uh, Akbar John Jalilov, a 20-year-old uh, Kyrgyz-born Russian citizen, lived in St. Petersburg uh, for the past six years. Also, uh, the Gazette Rule newspaper uh, online media has reported that <coughs> Mr. Jalilov um, was a uh, cook in a sushi bar in St. Petersburg uh, back in 2015, and then, then he went. Uh, so his friends have not seen him uh, since. Uh, uh, it is reported that he had uh, some uh, very religious uh, friends, and that uh, people have lost communication with him in the past uh, couple of years. We uh, know also, according to unconfirmed media reports, uh, that although. Uh, Mr. Jalilov was born in Osh. He was an ethnic Uzbek. At this point, uh, also media say that he was interested in uh, Islam and uh, had a lot of uh, religious uh, friends. At this point, there have been no confirmation from Russian authorities uh, on the identity of uh, this man. Uh, so far, it's just the statements coming from the Kyrgyz authorities, uh, from the Kyrgyz intelligence services uh, spokesperson. So, has there been any clear? indication as to the motive for this attack and how might we expect authorities to respond? There has been no uh, uh, further details on the possible uh, reasons for these uh, for the for the blast that happened on Monday afternoon in Saint Petersburg. Russian authorities have not made any official statements as to how many people are being investigated and who could be the potential suspects or who could be behind uh, the plot to attack uh, that bomb that did explode in the metro carriage on Monday afternoon and then another explosive device that was discovered and diffused uh, about the same time in. St. Petersburg on a Monday. At this point, uh, security measures have been stepped up in St. Petersburg at all transport hubs um, and uh, more so at, at the metro system and the underground uh, stations. Um, there's more security, uh, tighter security at uh, St. Petersburg Airport and also here in Moscow, tighter security at uh, metro um, at the entrances and also increased uh, military presence at uh, transport, uh, uh, police presence at transport hubs here and just generally across the country um, as investigation is still underway and the suspects are believed to be at large.